You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton, um, Bill Cockshaw. Welcome. Pleasure. Thank you very much. A pleasure to be here. So you're involved with Christ Congregational Church yes. and something called Church World Services. Did I get it right? That's correct, yes. Okay. Right now, um, we just finished up with one hurricane, <sighs> Harvey, right. and we're dealing with Hurricane Irma. I don't want to date it too much because this will run for a couple of weeks. I don't know what the deadline is, but... Right. You guys do a great community service project to help people in troubled times like this. Tell us about it. That's right. We are involved with a, uh, an agency called Church World Services. Uh, Church World Services is an ecumenical society, uh, service agency. They were formed about 70 years ago. Um, there were 17 different denominations that got together to form this service. Their mission is to shelter the homeless, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and heal the sick. They respond to all different kinds of disasters, they, uh, whether they be man-made or natural. Uh, they were uh, on scene at the terrorist attack of 9-11, uh, Hurricane Katrina, uh, they, any kind of humanitarian crisis that's around, they, they aim for that and get there. Uh, any any worn torn areas. They were also on um, site uh, during and after, or right after the Nepal earthquake. Uh, most recently, as you said, that they've been uh, very involved in Texas uh, with the catastrophic event that happened there uh, with Hurricane Harvey. For, for Hurricane Harvey, they deli they delivered 1,800 cleanup buckets, and this is the cleanup bucket here. Mm -hmm. Um, they 1,800 that they had in stock. They have used them up. Their, it, their stock is completely depleted, and they are in urgent need of more. Um, Church World Services has committed to 140,000 hygiene kits that I will also talk about. Uh, for Hurricane Harvey, Church World Services has already delivered 56,000 cleanup kits, blankets, and hygiene kits already. And there will be more. As you know, the, the devastation down there is going to go on for months. The, um, if you visit Church World Services, uh, their website, which will be seen at the bottom of the screen right now, you can get an, uh, a list of the materials that need to go into this kit. This kit has everything from clothes pins to scrub brushes, uh, to laundry detergents, to uh, cleansers, um, anything that these people can use to help clean up their homes and their areas, uh, and it's just desperately needed at this point. What's interesting is when you watch all the sad pictures with right. all the water and then you see the sheetrock being cut out of they the bottom of the house. Right of we the had house. a water right. main break in this building in 2011. We had to go up four feet and get rid of all right. of that, or it would have been Mold City. Right. We had to take up the floors and the right. It's 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 a massive, massive cleanup, and like you said, it goes on forever. So it's mm. it's really good that there are groups like this that will help people because if you think about it, the places you go to buy the stuff, they're devastated too. They're Absolutely. gone. The malls, the Lowe's, there's nothing the left. Home those... Depot, there's nothing there. Right, and and. They, we ask that these get put into a bucket like this, so then they have a bucket to work out of also. Right. Um, so I, if you go to that website that's at the bottom of the screen, that will give you a list of everything that goes into this bucket. The highest it will ever cost is, would never get to $75, but you, you can probably do it for 40 to $50 by mm -hmm. shopping at the discount stores or the stores that sell stuff for a dollar. Um, so the, these are desperately needed, and there's also what's needed is what's called a hygiene kit. These hygiene kits have band-aids, uh, combs, face cloths, bar of soap, uh, toothbrush. The in, um, list of items that are needed for this are also online at that website that's showing, and you can get this. these. This here you can get out of for less than $10. Mm -hmm. All these items fit in a re reclosable one gallon uh, food storage bag. So th th those are also also needed. Everybody down there, their toothbrushes are someplace out in the 
uh, gulf at, at this point, and they, it, it, this is just so desperately needed. Um, so take a look at that uh, list and then um, see if there's anything that can be done. We'd appreciate any help that anybody can do on that. So you're going to take all those supplies, you're going to collect right. them at the church? We collect them at the church, right. Okay. Um, and the church, the address, uh, again, will be at the bottom. It's 1350 Pleasant Street in mm. Brockton, which is uh, right on Pleasant Street, right before you enter Easton. Correct. And right across from the, the old Sumner Street that goes up to the old Goddard Hospital. Exactly. My neighborhood. That's yeah. where I live. I yeah, live I, I live right three quarters there. of a mile from there, too. And... Um, so uh, Christ Congregational Church is a depot for the entire southeast area of Massachusetts. There's three, three places in Massachusetts, one in Acton and one out in the western part of the state that are also collecting these. The, we would ask the people if they can get these kits together in the bucket, sealed with packing tape, get them to our church by September 28th. Mm -hmm. um, that would be is what's needed and then on September 29th there'll be a giant 18 wheel truck coming to pick all these up and from all the different depots in sure. the whole northeast area they get them to Connecticut to a warehouse in Connecticut and from then from that warehouse that will be distributed as needed to the different places that need the help well you know what I think it's a wonderful thing what you're doing because if you look on TV and you see all the solicitations and stuff right a lot of times with some of the solicitations, some of the organizations, keep a lot of money for administrative exactly. overhead. Okay? Exactly. Okay. I happen to be involved with the Rotary. I have my Rotary pin on. Rotary is one of the organizations. Mm -hmm. You get all the money, you give all the money away. You don't keep it. We right. don't keep it. Exactly. Same thing. This is practical. If, if you don't want to actually donate money, you can spend money, go buy the supplies, pack up the kit, do the hygiene kit, either for up to 50, 40 or 50, or less right. than 10, right. and help people. I and think this is great. I think it's wonderful, too. And, and uh, one of the things that the church is doing is that there's a $3 administrative cost to cover the fuel for the truck and the truck drivers and all, the, all of that. And our church is actually picking up those administrative costs for each bucket in each package there and nice. as our way of also uh, participating in the program and giving. So have you people. been doing this before? Is this new to you? Or? I have been... A little bit involved in it, not okay. as much as I am right now, and I'm thrilled to be doing it. And it's just such a worthy, worthy endeavor that we're able to do this and put this out for people and um, to help those victims and future victims, whether it be the hurricane that's up, coming up the coast right now or heading towards Florida or whatever it is in the future. Um, they get a supply there, they fill up their warehouse, and they're ready to go at a moment's notice. Well, we're thrilled to help you promote it, and we will follow it up. Maybe I'll take a camera home that day when the truck comes and get a little bit of video to go along That'd with That'd be it. excellent. Thank you for joining us on Greater Brockton. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. You're welcome. So just to recap, Church World Services through Christ Congregational Church in Brockton, 1350 Pleasant Street. They will be collecting these um, hygiene kits and cleanup buckets. Help out somebody because you never know when you're going to need the help someday yourself. Thank you for joining us on Greater Brockton and stay tuned for more events, places, people and faces right here in the City of Champions.